Hello Facebook world and friends out there. It is Monday, so happy Monday to you. I have not done much today at all, if you can't tell. Um, hair is unfixed, no makeup, and a sweatshirt. So, we're going to do a requested eye look today. So, when you pop on, make sure that you say hello to me. I see somebody join. Hey Chrissy, hello, hello, hi Brenda. I've already got rose water and primer. Hi Valerie, on my face. So I'm just gonna hop right on into this look. Hey Linda, hey Lisa. Thanks guys for hopping on. If you were hopping on and you've never watched me before, just say hello and that you are a newbie and I will give you a shout out. Um, and thank you for joining me. If you have watched me before, if you don't uh, mind to click the share button, I would absolutely appreciate that so very much. Hi, Dana. Hi, Linda. Hello, everyone, for hopping on. Thank you, Tara, for sharing. Hi, Kelly. So we're going to go ahead and do the norm um, face, like I always do, doing two drops of taffeta concealer for extra coverage. Hello, Heather. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Miss Brooke. Actually, Brooke is <laughs> Brooklyn Long that just joined, if you see her. She is the one who sent me this eye look, and I'm like, I don't know if I can do that, but you know me, I am always willing to try something. So I told her I would do it tonight, and we will see what it turns out like. And we're going to do a fun uh, lippy, too. Hi, Mom. So if it doesn't look good, you can blame uh, Miss Brooke for that. Okay, so here is what my brush looks like. Thanks, Tara. I appreciate when you do that because when I do it, it seems like um, it just messes up my video. So thank you for giving them that link. Hello, Danielle. Hi, Kathy. So I'm going to put this all over my face. Everywhere that I want the coverage. Hi, Brandy. Thank you guys for hopping on. We're just dotting this all over. So that way it'll be a little bit easier to blend in. I know it's been quite a while, Valerie. I hope everything's going well with you and your mom. Okay, so we're blending this in. Hope everyone has had a good day. I have had, basically, uh, I've just been working from my phone. My husband was off today, so we haven't done anything. Thank you so much for sharing. He went to the store and picked up a few items so I could fix dinner. Hello, D. We're just blending in, and I'm using um, the concealer and powder uh, brush. So, I love this for the the application of your liquid foundation. It is very, very nice, and it doesn't break your brush down. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Ramona. So, if you pop on, say hello to me. I would love to know where you are tuning in from. I have a blemish right here, so we're going to take a little bit of concealer onto that. So, thank you, Kathy, for sharing. I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger and then take my blending butt and just dab it on there. And yes, I point out my blemishes because we all have them from time to time, and it's okay. Nobody is perfect. So there we go. All gone. Hi, Julie. Thanks for hopping on. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in with me. Don't forget to share if you can. I would greatly appreciate you. I'm going to use Taffeta um, Pressed Powder Foundation. I'm about out of Taffeta, and it is out of stock right now, so... I'm a little nervous about that. We're just going to tap this into our skin using the same brush. Hot Springs, Arkansas. Awesome. Nice. Hi, Stephanie. What's your weather like right now, Brenda? So we're tapping this taffeta in. You can um, buff it into your skin if that's what you like. Completely and totally up to you, and I do that sometimes. Hi, Laurie. Kathy is tuning in from South Point, Ohio. Hi, Miss Kay. Miss Kay, do you have um, nice weather in Florida? Hi, Kayla. Alrighty, so now we're going to highlight with Scarlet Concealer. That is my favorite thing to use for highlighting. And I'm just putting a little line on the back of my hand. Hi, Beth. And then I'm going to take the blending bud, and I'm just going to highlight under the eyes, the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, on your temp, uh, Cupid's bow and then the tip of your chin. It was 70 today, but 40s tomorrow. Oh my gosh, that's crazy weather. Sounds about like what we've had here in West Virginia for a while, but now it is cold. It is cold and I don't like it, as most know. If you follow me, 
You know that I am not a snow kind of person unless it's three feet and nobody has to go anywhere. It's a little cool, but I think it feels great. Fred's freezing. <laughs> I bet. Tell him he needs some um, hot chocolate or magic coffee even. Hi, Melanie. Hey, Pam. Okay, so we're going to go down the bridge of the nose. And right here in the middle of the forehead, you can bounce it in or just drag it and then bounce it to get rid of any lines. Right here on your Cupid's bow. Hi, Vanessa. Thanks for hopping on. I'd appreciate it if you guys would click the share button. It would help me out greatly never know who we can reach out there and we always like to see what number we can get up here the bigger the better so help me out okay and I'm just going to take it right here you love your magic coffee and you don't even like coffee see you were afraid to try it Chrissy I'm so glad yay hi Stacy thanks Kay for sharing sorry my hair is a total disaster mess I use um, Scarlet Concealer to highlight with, Heather. What do we have for wrinkles? We have an Instant Lifting Serum, and we have an Uplift Beauty Serum. So, Kathy, I can absolutely help you if you want to um, private message me. Thank you for sharing. Is it Carly? Thank you so much. And Tiffany, thank you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to um, contour with bronzer, or you can actually contour with a let me show you contour with a darker powder and I'm just going to take my uh, blusher brush yes it I know Glenn drinks his in like hot chocolate so <laughs> hey Lorena so we're taking a um, blusher brush and we're just dabbing it in this is chenille which is a darker powder and we're going to go right in the hollows of your cheeks starting at the top of your ear and if you have never watched me before you're going to think that I look crazy until we get to the end and then all of these products where they are minerals, they blend together very nicely. But you don't want to not start with a dark and light um, canvas, I guess you could say. So that way when you do blend it, it doesn't all blend away and you have to re-add. I got the bronzer the other day and I love it. No more Urban Decay. Woo, we love that. Hi, Kim. Hi, Barbara. Thank you guys for hopping on. I appreciate you. And then you're going to take it down the sides. Of your nose if you need to slim your nose just drag it down the side very lightly and then the the end not the tip but the end like down there and then around the hairline on your forehead because I have a large forehead so I want to make it smaller or appear smaller I can use any help that I can get here hi Susan hi Amber thank you guys for hopping on I appreciate all shares. Hey, Trisha. Alrighty, so I'm going to take my Behold, and I'm kind of going to do like a little baking method, but not full. And I'm just going to set this on the highlighted areas, kind of thicker. So again, you're going to think I look like a crazy person until we are finished, and we get it all blended together. Okay, and then I'm going to use a blush. And you know my blush of choice right now has been Spirited. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Jill. Hey, Crystal. Hey Angie, so we're going to pick up that blusher brush and we are just going to dust a little bit one above the contour on your cheekbone back into your hairline. Hey Shatana, hey Sam, and just like I say, you're going to go a little bit darker than what you would really wear because you're going to blend this out and you don't want this to look to go faded away when you blend it all out. And now we're going to do our brows with prim eyeliner because that is my fave and that is just what I go to it's easy quick and fast and it go, it's great I sure will miss Emily hello hello hi John hi Kim okay so we're gonna take this and we're just gonna line the top and you're gonna follow the natural arch of your brow and then you're gonna line the bottom and then you are going to just um, brush little hair strokes through um, yes, actually, Kathy messaged me, and I will help you depending on what all the issues and their skin type and all that, so that way I can help you individually. Absolutely. Oh, thank you, Kay. <laughs> yeah, even if I had to stop and get brushes that were not mine, but it did. It all worked out, so I don't know where to look. I have a mirror here and a mirror here, so we're going to go over here, and we're just drawing a line. Yeah, I was, I was okay with the makeup. It turned out fine. Thankfully, we had good quality makeup to work with. I was so upset when I got halfway there and I was like, oh, 
I forgot my brushes, but we had a great time. All the girls that were able to come out and spend the evening with their uh, significant others or friends, it was great. Hey, Belinda, hey, Cricket, and Donna, thank you guys for hopping on. We are just taking prim eyeliner and lining our lash, or our lashes, our brow, and then we are going to fill them in with little hair, hair strokes. I need to trim up these brows again, shape them up a little bit. They're getting a little bit out of hand right now. So, after Christmas, I would love to start selling this. That would be awesome. I would love to have you and help you get started. Just message me anytime. I'm always here. Hey, Melinda. Hey, hey. I appreciate you guys hopping on. All the likes and the shares are very much appreciated. Hey, Shannon. So, we're just brushing this color throughout the brow. It will disperse it and fill in any holes um, that need be filled in. And then it also gives you a more natural, neutral look. Hey, Erica. Hey, Kelly. Alrighty. So, we're going to take the rest of the the concealer that we highlighted with on the back of our hand and we're going to clean those brows up because like I said I have stray hairs just kind of hanging out here and if you make any like outer edge mistakes with your brow product then you just go in and just clean these up and make them look a little bit more sharp and you can drag this concealer down if you have veiny eyelids and then it would, can act as a cover up for that as well as a base for your eyeshadow so that's awesome hi Lindsay hey Melissa and April and then I just take a very little bit and go right over the top. And then I just use my finger to blend that in. So see how it kind of cleans it up, makes it more sharp and precise versus this side. Hey, hey. So we're going to do this over here. And you don't have to use a whole lot. A little goes a long way. And then you just bring that down. You can use like any thin ended brush. And it'll, it'll go really nicely up against your brow. So there we go. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it, Marie. Hi, Lori. All right, so I'm going to wipe this off so I don't get it all over me. And here we go. I'm a little nervous. I don't know if you can see this picture. I stole my, hus uh, my son's iPod. Can you see that? It's got a, kind of like a glare on it. But that's kind of the look that we're going to go for. We're going to try it anyways. So, we all know that I always, always, always highlight with, um, hold on, is that it? Let me see. That's not it. We already put it over in the other one. Optimistic is what I always highlight my eyes with. Oh, I'm going to try, Emily. I'm going to so try it. So, that one's the one we're going to highlight with. We're going to grab a liner shader brush, and we're just going to dust that off because I don't know what I used on this last. Oh, Brooke, I don't know. I'm trying. Thank you, Angela. Angie, appreciate you sharing. Okay, so we're going to just highlight here. She didn't have a whole lot of highlight on her eye, but you know I can't go without it. I'm a highlighting queen. Love it. So that's just what we're going to do. And we may use a little bit of lip sparkle from our bundle on this eye look. So hang tight with me, and hopefully you, you won't be laughing, but you'll think it looks okay. So I don't have a lot of confidence in myself when it comes to new things. So we're going to try it. And I'm going to try, Danielle. I'm going to so totally try. All right. So we're done with the powders for now. We're going to set those over to the side. And we're going to grab. We're going to put this brush up for now. And we're going to grab. I'm actually going to use the blending brush. And I'm going to use Unapologetic Cream Shadow. I know you all are like, don't use that. I can't buy it. But it'll come back. And that looks like this. So we're going to use this as our breaking crease collar. Did you get your new brush cleaner? No, Chrissy, I am so upset. It says Wednesday. I ordered like 22 of them, I think it was, for my customers and myself. And I don't have them yet. I want it so bad because it's going to really, really help. Especially doing makeovers and such. Hey, Shayla. Hey, Tiffany. Okay, so I got a little bit on my brush. And we're going to just use this as our breaking crease collar really lightly and build it up because the cream shadows are very highly pigmented as well and if you get too much on there um, you have to blend a little bit longer you can't get that now the brush cleaner no it was just oh unapologetic I think it's still out I think it's still on back order 
I know, Chrissy. I've seen so many of the other girls get it. Um, and it's really going to help with my makeovers, too. So, Because it nourishes your brushes. It cleans them. And it keeps them to be used right away. It has no water in it. So it's not going to break down your brushes or destroy them. So um, this one is unapologetic. Is that what you mean, Kay? Thank you, Mary, for sharing. So if you ordered a brush cleaner from me, I have not gotten them yet. So I think where I had ordered so many... Um, and there was so many orders coming in. That's probably why. Okay, so we have this. And we're kind of taking it out a little bit further than what I normally do. Because kind of go towards the end of your eyebrow. Thank you guys for sharing. Yeah, the brush cleaner. The um, It's a waterless spray brush cleaner. It was in our bundle. I hope that they bring it back eventually. Because I think a lot of people are going to love it. Okay, so let's do the same over here. I think this eye over here always does better. It's the one that's not as hooded. So this one over here likes to be stubborn. Kind of like how you have one side of your hair that will do better than the other. The, oh, the one, yeah, yes, the one that I ordered for everybody in the bundle. It still has not come. It, I checked tracking today and it says Thursday, or Wednesday, sorry. So hopefully. Thank you, Beth, for um, sharing. Hi, Brandy. I haven't watched in so long that I'm clueless on the new products. I know. We had a bunch of holiday bundles, Valerie, and they were awesome. And so I've been showcasing some of them. And then our Kudos has some major awesome new cream shadows that I truly love. Let me, I'm going to put this up. And I'm going to think I'm going to grab a crease brush because she has some of that color underneath too. Me too, Sandy. Me too. So I'm going to grab a little bit of it. I'm just going to brush this under. But it also has the purple color underneath. So we're going to go a little bit lighter with this. We're going to see. I'm just playing. You guys are here to watch. If I mess up, I mess up. <laughs> it is what it is. It's makeup and it can be taken off and, re and fixed and reapplied. But I'm not going to do that on camera tonight. If I mess it up, I mess it up. I'm not going to reapply it. Okay, so we have that. And now we're going to go into Rapturous. It goes on the outer um, edge of your eye. So we're going to dust off this brush. And we're going to pick up Rapturous. It's a really deep purple if you don't have that. This is what it looks like. I love this color. Love it, love it, love it. The cream shadows replaced the discontinued. No, all of these did. The pressed shadows. They're awesome. They come in different finishes like satin, metallic, um, shimmer, and matte. Hi, Tina. Thanks for hopping on. Okay, so we're going to use the crease brush so that I have a little bit of um, a little bit of control, more control with this brush. And we're going to see what we can do. So we're going to start in the crease. And then we're going to just build this collar up as we go. And it's kind of darker on the outer edge. So we're going to, we're just going to play with the collar here and see what we can come up with. Of course, mine is not going to look like hers. So you guys can just guarantee that it's not going to be that fantastic. <laughs> I am not a model. I'm not a professional. And I don't have all these photographers uh, making my eye makeup look amazing. So we're just going to do the best we can. And we can like it our own way. Okay. So we're just going to darken this up just a little bit. Thank you, Wanda. So far, I'm liking it. I really am. I have to say that so far. So far, so good. Okay, and go right underneath. And this goes all the way over where I don't normally do this all the way over. Her purple goes all the way over. Well, thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much. You guys are too good to me, I'm telling you. I do, I try, but you know, it happens. Alrighty, so let's do the other side. This one over here makes me nervous because it's a little bit different. We have a special eye over here. Hi, Tammy. So we're just doing the outer V area and we're blending it out. We're putting the color on and then we're blending it and then building it up as we go. So that it's not like this super harsh. So we're kind of like brushing it through and like blending it up. Thank you, Wanda. Hey, hey. Hey, Amanda. 
and then we're gonna bring this in just a little bit because then we're gonna take a lighter purple because hers goes fades to lighter colors. Okay. Kind of matching right there. We gotta put this underneath. If I miss your comment and you're asking me a question or anything, just repeat it. My eyes are different too. Yes, I'm glad that I'm not the only one because like it seriously drives me insane. I don't know if my mom's still on here or not, um, but while we were shopping, she's like, I didn't realize that one of your eyebrows is down lower than the other either. I'm like, yeah, that is my eye. I'm like crooked. Like if I stood like this, you'd never, ever know. <laughs> so we're just going to blend this in. Okay. We'll blend as we go. So don't stress. Um, now we're going to take Noble and Noble is like a lighter, more shimmery purple. Hi, Tony. And this is what it looks like. And we're going to grab another crease brush, which is a little bit fluffier. I've not had it as long. We all have them different. Like, we all have something, you know. That's what makes us us. Okay, so we're going to put this as the next color. And we're just going to blend that on there. And blend it into the Rapturous. So, we're just adding as we go. Hi, Julia. So just take your crease brush, or you can use a cream shadow brush here if you want, and just add the color until you are satisfied. And like I say, we will blend out here in just a minute when we get the last um, cream shadow one. Brooke said that she would do this with our powdered, pressed powder colors, so we can compare the two, and you can, you, we'll show you how you can use both for this look. A cream or a powder. Oh, well, thanks, Wanda. Hi, Kira. Okay, so here is, there is Noble. And now we are going to take another color that you can't get right now. I know, don't yell at me, but I have to use these to get this look. Jubilant. Jubilant is on the inner, inner eye part, I think. Let me find a cream shadow brush that doesn't have too much product on it. You see this one. Let's clean it off on the towel. I can be a little bit more rough on the towel than I can my brush cleaner. Hi, Kimberly. Don't forget to share, guys, if you don't care to help me out there. I would appreciate you. Okay, so we're going to take this Jubilant Cream Shadow, and we're going to apply that right to the inner lid here and meet the um, Noble. And this is where we're going to put the Lip Sparkle. Hi, Katie, Kimberly, Jamie, Ashley. Hello, guys. We are doing a requested eye look. So we're going to see how close I can get to it. I have them all going to try this tomorrow night for Friday. Yes, you're going to. You're going to have to try and show me. I want to see. You'll look so pretty. So I'll blend here in just a second so we can blend these edges together. And this is Jubilant. Alrighty, so it doesn't take much of Jubilant at all. We're going to grab our um, blending brush. Why does it say pinned, a pin post down at the bottom? That is my website. Thank you, Cindy, for sharing. Okay, so we're just going to blend really lightly. So those edges will come together very nicely. And hers goes, I think I'm going to have to take a little bit more unapologetic. Because I can see that a little bit more on hers than I can on mine. And it looks like hers is a little bit more dark. So see, we just have to play with it. And we can we can get there a little bit at a time. Hey, Ashley. I'll have to watch the video over and over. Oh, you've got this, girl. you got this. I'm just going to darken this up with the Rapturous. Because hers is dark. Darker than mine. Actually, it looks like some of her um, unapologetic is in the dark part. But you all know I can't do the really harsh. I have to blend a lot because I'm really picky about blending and not being so, so, so dark. I wanted to ask if you guys would say a prayer for me, please. I have to go to the eye specialist. I can't see all of that, but I will read it more and you will absolutely have my prayers for sure. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Dolores. Hey, Becky. Okay, so we are going to 
darken that up. Take a little bit more underneath. Okay, so let's grab a, an apologetic again and add just a little bit more of that because I'm thinking that we can see a little bit more of it in this crease all the way up here. So see, we just have to keep playing until we get till we're happy with it. Yes, prayers for whatever it is you are facing, girlfriend. I'm even going to take some in this outer V right here and just tap it in, kind of make it darker. Brooke, are you still here? How am I doing, girl? This is your eye look for you. So help me out if I need to change something. Talk to me, girl. So far, so good. Hi, David. Killing it. <laughs> I don't know about that, but right now, I mean, this is my version. It's a lighter version, but hey. Okay, so now we are going to take, I'm going to take the lip sparkle and I'm going to put it right here in the corners and then I'm going to tap it right in the center. Let me see the picture again. It looks so good so far. Okay, can you see the picture? Oh, that stupid light. So, kind of, kind of, kind of. Thanks, Katie. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Destiny. Tammy bought me a gift and sent it to me, and I got it today. So, thank you, Miss Tammy. It was beautiful. Alrighty, so I'm going to take a little bit of lip sparkle on my cream shadow brush that I used, the Jubilant, tapping it in the lid. Well, prayers for you too, Wanda. Absolutely. Late but shared. Thank you, Heather. Okay, so I'm going to tap this on right here in the center. And we're just going to build it up a little bit. Can you see that? Let me grab a little bit more. I'm still learning this lip sparkle because I think when I tap it off, I think it's still going to be a lot and it's not. Oh, so pretty. If I did do it myself, hello. <laughs> Props to me right now. <laughs> How's your son? He's doing good tonight. Hi, Darla. Um, yeah, he has his moments, of course, but he's doing good so far. This week is just starting, so. Alrighty, so here is the lip sparkle here. We're going to add a little bit more as we go, because like I say, I'm still learning, building it up. Oh, I really like it, you all. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. Thanks, Wanda. <laughs> I'm bossing up, or I'm trying to. <laughs> what, liner? Is that what you mean, Tammy? Um, she looks like she has on a dark liner, so I think black will probably be okay. All right, so I'm going to take Benevolent right in the center, because this is more of a pink, the sparkle, lip sparkle, so I'm going to take a little bit of the Benevolent on a brush. Does this have anything on it? And we're gonna brighten up this inner. Look. I don't usually go this bright with the inner part of my eye because you all know that I don't want to look like a bird pooped on me. <laughs> and that's what we call the bird poop look. But this one is that way, so we are going to go with it. Just tap that in there. It probably would have looked better if I had the, the powder, but of course it's still in my purse because I've been using it on the go. So I need to probably bring that back upstairs. Okay, give me that blending brush. A little bit more. Maybe if I just use my finger, it might work. There we go, it works better. Oh, much better. That's bright, isn't it? But hers is really, really bright, so. Hello, guys. You don't gotta try, you did it, you're my. Oh, well thanks, you were so sweet. Hey, Maria. Okay, so we're gonna use Perfect uh, Liquid Liner tonight. We're just gonna shake that up. Now don't leave me, because we're gonna do a fun lip, too. What do you guys think? It's my version, it doesn't look exactly like hers, but hey, we're, we're doing what we can. Don't forget my blessed beauties. I'm having my second back surgery on 16th. 
Yes, you are. We will have your prayers for you, girlfriend. Okay, so we are just adding to our lash line this black liquid liner. No, I'm not doing a wing because I can't. Well, thanks, Brooke and Becky and Danielle. You all are so sweet. Okay, go right on the lash line on the bottom. I'm just bar barely touching. I'm not doing like a real, real thick because I'm going to let the eyeshadow speak for itself. Try not to talk because I'll mess up the line. Okay, now we're going to go on the bottom. I know, I know, but I can't. I can't wing it. You can do that when you do the press shadow. Okay, so there is that. And we're going to put, thank you. I am going to put the black perfect pencil liner on the waterline. And then we're going to do mascara. Some fun lips. And we're going to highlight and set this look for whatever you are going for. Hers is, like I say, it's a little bit darker. Can you see that? But it's, it's close. I'll put it with the picture. Let's do some epic mascara. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was like, I can't do that. That's a lot. Like, that's that's a really pretty eye look, and I don't know that I can do that. But I'll take um, some selfies, of course, when I'm done, and you guys can see what it really looks like up close and personal. So we're putting on a little light coat of Epic Mascara. Hi, Bobby. Thank you, Wanda. And we are doing... Just a coat on each eye. Oh, I just poked myself in the eyeball. Did you see that? That's what happens when you try to multitask. You need to see the picture again? Hold on. Oh, I didn't even see that, uh, Miss Linda. Thank you for letting me know. Awesome. Thanks, you guys, for sharing. Okay, here is the picture again. Can you see it? It's darker than mine, but it's close. If she does have more of the maroon, I might go back in and add a little bit more. But for now, we're going to do some um, 3D gel and fibers. Awesome. You just got the Epic, and you actually love it. Yes, I love the Epic. And where I've been using the serum, too, my lashes have gotten so much healthier and, and longer. So I'm excited that I don't have to always wear the 3D if I don't want to. But I, I love it because then it gives me really nice lashes. So that is what I do it for. We're just going to put on one coat of gel and fibers and then gel again. You like mine better? Well, thanks, Donna. Thank you. Brooklyn, are you still here? Should I do a little bit more unapologetic in the crease? What do you think, girlfriend? Since this is your Alex sister, I'm going to ask you uh, your opinion. Thank you, Ashley. Brooke sent me this uh, eye look to do it. So, here we go. I'm going to blow dry my hair. <laughs> it's going to go up crazy. Look at those lashes, you guys. this crazy hair guys and we are going to add a little coat of gel just so that they stay stay looking fab and then we'll put a little bit more unapologetic because everybody says yes I think so too because hers looks I can see her unapologetic a little bit more than mine okay let me find I'm gonna use a crease brush this time if I can find what I did with it Here we go. Awesome! You may have to have a second card case to have plenty of card. Oh, I, you just never know about me. Hi, Stacy. 
I don't know how you do that. My eyes would be pouring water. Oh, I have contacts too. It's, it's what you get used to, I think. Okay, here we go. Here is unapologetic. Let's hope we don't uh, mess this up. Better? We'll blend it out here in just a second. Better, guys? Yes, yes, yes. I know. I'm, a, I'm scared that I couldn't do it. Just very lightly blend it out. We don't want to blend it away. I still feel like I need more purple. Look at me. I just keep going back. I need more of this. I need more of that. I need this. I need that. <laughs> so funny, right? Can you all relate? It's just because you, you get into it and you're like, okay, this needs done and this is it. Yeah. So we're just going to darken it up. It's okay. It's all right. I really do like it. I really do. Like I say, even if I did do it myself and I didn't believe in myself, that's why I always say we need to believe in ourselves so we can do stuff. Oh, well, thank you, Danielle. So there we go. It's a little bit darker. Okay, so the fun is about to happen. Let's blend out. Well, the fun was the eyes. But let me show you what I'm going to do to my lips. We're going to try this. It's a new, a new look, a new color, I guess you could say. Less is more. You don't like it, Selena? Do you do you like it or you don't like it? It's amazing how pretty makeup changes you. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's crazy because you saw what I was beforehand. <laughs> Just plain Jane. But that's the magic of makeup. You know, if everybody doesn't like it, it's okay. That is what you want to wear. That is what works best for you. And you rock it. You don't have to have anybody else's approval, and if it makes you feel good, go for it, sisters. Okay, on my lips, I'm going to use Mysterious Cream Shadow, but let's put a little bit of sparkle on those cheeks. Just a little bit. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. Can't really see what I'm doing. Okay, to the tip of the nose, just a just a little bit. Hi, Mr. Brian. And the Cupid's bow. Alrighty, so we're gonna try the um mysterious. Let me wipe off this cream brush. Awesome, we're at 200. Thanks guys for hopping on, for sharing, and for coming to see me tonight. If you like this eye look, give me an emoji. Give me an emoji, your favorite emoji in the comments. Okay, so this is what's going to go on the lips. Kind of matches, right? We're going to try it. If you like the eye look that Brooke sent to me to do, give me your favorite emoji in the comments, please. Okay, here we go. I see a heart. Somebody likes it. It's Brooklyn. Somebody else gave me an emoji. Thank you. Another one. Another one. Yay. I show you a picture tomorrow night. Yes, you do. I can't wait to see it, Kay. Thank you, guys, for those emojis. Okay, so yeah. This is like a metallic, so that's why I thought it would look cute on the lips. I love the hearts and all the emojis. What do you think? I have a lip gloss here because Brooklyn said that maybe we could put a lip gloss over it. 
or we can try lip sparkle. What do you guys think? Tell me, lip sparkle or a lip gloss? Oh, thank you. Lip sparkle or a lip gloss? Well, thank you. Now tell me about the lips, Brooke. Thanks, guys. Tammy sent me a Christmas tree. She likes the look. Let me just try the lip sparkle then. Let me see on the lips what I do with it. <laughs> right here in front of me. Everybody said, oh, Emily said gloss. Two people said sparkle. What shadow? This is mysterious. Mysterious lip uh, cream shadow on the lips. And it's the new color. Chrissy, you have it, don't you? You got the three. Oh gosh, I love it with just the one. Just, just, oh. Oh my gosh, it makes it so shimmery. Like metallic y. See, I just have to do a little bit at a time. And I'm just on the center, I think. Oh my gosh, I really, really like it. What do you guys think? I'll get up close so you can see. Because you can't, I mean, in there, it doesn't look as good as the mirrors. Pretty, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's set this look with our Behold Setting Spray. I want to show you all something, but I have to get up. Can you wait for just a second? Hold on. You're going you're gonna to appreciate this. Hold on. I forgot about it. I'm coming. I'm coming back. Okay. Are you ready to see what I have to show you? I want to tell you about this amazing deal. Not only can you get the cream shadows, three of them, for $59, is it 59 Yeah, $59. Normally $73. But we have another amazing deal for you. Are you ready for this? And you can get it here at this missybowls.com. You get rose water. You get the epic mascara that I just used. Okay, add this up. $29, $24. And your liquid gold in a bottle foundation in your winter shade, 39, 29, 24. And guess what? You get this amazing bag basically free for $69. All of this right here, all that, $69. That would make an amazing Christmas gift for some lady in your life. So you're getting those three products. And three eyes with the liquid gold and purse. Huh? Oh, yeah. You get this bag. Look, look at this bag. It has compartments inside of it. This is our presenter's bag. So only, like, people who sign up to join could get the bag. And I use this as a carry-all bag when I go out of, out of town. There's a pocket here, and there's a clear pocket in the back, which I have my little advertiser thing there. And you get the rose water. You get... The liquid gold. And you get the mascara. $69 and this bag. How awesome is that? That is an awesome deal. No, I did not see the color. Of the oh, yes, 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 I did. Purple, I did see that. Oh, you were guessing. Yeah, you do. You get all of that and the bag for uh, basically free. So it's a huge discount. Um, Tracy just ordered it. I've had five ladies to order it so far because it just came out today. So again, it's the bag, basically free, rose water that you see me use every time, liquid gold in a bottle, and your One Step Epic Mascara for $69. Add that up, lady. <laughs> All right, well, I hope that you have enjoyed this look. I'll show you again what it looks like on the phone, and you can judge if I did a good job or not. And there it is. 
and I'll take some pictures and post those for you. I appreciate you guys hopping on, tuning in, sharing this video. I hope you all are going and enjoying your Christmas holiday and you're going to get everything that you want. Um, <laughs> you've got nothing under the tree. Well, that can change any day, Wanda. Thank you guys so much for hopping on. Thank you for always supporting me, loving me as who I am, liking, sharing, commenting, just being supporters of mine in whatever way that is possible. If I can help you in any way, you want to be added to my VIP group, please comment VIP here. All kinds of stuff goes on inside of there that you can't see out here, so let me know and I will give you a link to be um, added. And I hope that you go and have an amazing rest of your night. The three cream shadows are $59. So, if there's anything I can help you with, always feel free to private message me and let me know if I can help you because I'm always here for you. Another perk of not going to a department store and having uh, me as your unique presenter. I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to thank God for your blessings today because he is the reason that you were able to wake up this morning and go throughout this day. Even if you hit bumps in the roads, there is um, a reason for each one of those and he is there to pick you up and let you know that you can go forward. So thank you so much for everything that you do and just remember that that God loves you and so do I. So you have an amazing night and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.